Hey, Terrifics, welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES Asia 2016 here in Shanghai, China. You're the Terrifics, you make me Terrific special. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us at Terrific TV on all social media. Now, we're in Hall N4. This is the startup pavilion, and I'm really excited about it because we're here with the smallest 4K camera in production. I'm going to take your word on that. I haven't seen a smaller one, but I don't know if one exists. Yeah. And you guys did an Indiegogo campaign. You raised a million dollars. Now you're starting to deliver the Mocha. It's pretty cool. So about this camera, yeah. uh, we designed, designed it in 2015, and we got the Red Dot Award 2015 as the winner. So this camera is the smallest 4K camera uh, in the world, and its uh, performance is uh, even better than GoPro. And we designed the rotatable screen, which could uh, rotate in for 270 degree, which you can take selfie like this. Oh, that's uh, a good idea. Yeah. Also, we get we designed the battery. Like this one is a, a battery. You can uh, there's a magnet at the back, so you can click on this in one. So second. you can add batteries. Yes. No. Uh, in addition to that, um, you have a battery in the monitor so that it's not draining the camera, it's yes. actually maybe giving the camera some battery. Yeah, it will provide uh, triple the uh, power supply of the camera itself. Also, there is a magnet at the back of the camera, so you can put it like at, at any steel or iron surface like this. That's impressive, so you can just mount it anywhere. And then you've got the waterproof housing and all sorts of mounts for it as well. Yes, the waterproof housing could make it work under uh, 60 meters uh, under the water. Uh, is I noticed that you have some outputs for video. Uh, tell me about the outputs, and, and it records to an SD card, not a micro SD, but an SD? It's a micro SD card. Micro SD. Yeah, up to 64 gigabit. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, do you have a, a microphone in it or HDMI out or anything? We have a micro USB port to um, output the uh, video. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, like this. and then, do we have a microphone input? Uh, micro inf uh, microphone is only for the camera itself. In internal. And internal. then, what are the frame rates? The frame rate is the 4K, 25 frames per second. So it's quite amazing. Okay. And uh, you don't do 30 or, or 60 yet. Uh, 25 and 60 are similar because if it's over 24 frames per second, our eye cannot recognize it. Right. Yeah. That's, that's very true. Uh, that's what they say anyway. I don't know. I, I don't know what's true with that. Uh, okay. Very cool. Where can people get it now? Uh, currently, we're still on Indiegogo crowdfunding. So it's during in demand period. And after this part, we will start the uh, setting on Amazon. So you can find it on Amazon started from, start from uh, June. But you're delivering the Indiegogos now? Yeah, we are delivering. For what's the it Indiegogos. been like to have an idea, come up with the idea, then put it on Indiegogo, have it funded, and go through the process of actually manufacturing it. Uh, the process will be like we want to test our idea of innovation. So we put it on Indiegogo, and we want to know how the consumer uh, feel about this innovation, whether they like it or uh, whether they want it to be different. So after we tested it, we make it into a mass production. That's a good way to test the innovation. Has it been a challenging experience? Yes, it has been challenging uh, because this camera is uh, very complicated because to uh, put a rotable screen in such small camera is really a challenge. Yeah, and the marketplace is pretty crowded. GoPro is kind of the king, right? Yeah. Um, I would think that it's been hard to get traction, and, and it's been hard to actually do this. How did you think of the idea? Yes, uh, in this market, you know, um, many brands like Polaroid, like uh, um, other HTC or Canon or other brands have been um, released their own camera. But uh, as we could see during the campaign, uh, the, the, the the people who like sports or like live camera, they in, they enjoy using this camera. They like the design. They like the rotable screen. They also like the way that we provide more power to this camera. 
and they like the design. It's a uh, but I, fancy. How did you come up with the idea to do it and then say let's do this when the marketplace is so crowded? Uh, because I like uh, I'm a photographer, although I'm not very professional, but I like to use DSLR or other cameras. Uh, during this period, we found the camera uh, like DSLR is so heavy to carry out, and for the cameras. Uh, which are smaller, like the live camera. Um, most of them are not performed well on the quality of the uh, image and the video. So uh, we would like to, we want to uh, produce or invent a uh, camera that uh, which could perform the best uh, image quality in the world as well. Uh, and meanwhile, it could be used very conveniently. So this is why we want to um, design a camera like this. Have you thought about taking two and slapping them together for uh, 360? Yes, we are thinking about two or six or eight to make it for the VR filming. Eight? eight? You sell eight at a time. It's not a bad deal, right? Yes. How um, how much are the cameras? The camera, the retail price for the camera is one, 199 US dollars. Not and bad. The, yeah, not bad. We also have this bundle. It's like this. It's the adventure bundle from the for the Indiegogo backers. For this this bundle, it will be 279. It have a remote controller, a waterproof casing, battery, and the rotable screen. Altogether, it will be 279. And uh, I think it's only half the price of a GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah about that. Thank you so much. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. Mocha Cam, you're the Terrifics. I'm Michael. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this. Stay with us.